Oh my goodness. Ah! I was not expecting to do this today. I was cleaning up my apartment and I was like, you know what? Let me just go on YouTube. Let me update my subscribers, all 96 of you, about where I've been these past four years. The last time I made a post was summer of 2020. And after that, I went ghost. Um, summer 2020 was super hard. Um, it was like the Black Lives Matter movement. We were still in COVID. We were still pretty much quarantined. Um, it was a really, really tough time. Um, and I really needed to take the time to just focus on school and my health and um, just focusing on family. Uh, um. So yeah, again, I was not expecting to go on YouTube today or make a video, so I didn't like really prep for anything, but I I want to get back into it. I just want to fill you guys in, honestly. So, medical school. I'm happy to say that I graduated and I am now a first year resident um, in emergency medicine. Um, I think the last time I posted, I had just finished my first year of medical school <laughs> so yeah a lot of a lot of things have happened since then but yes i matched i'm um an emergency medicine resident physician and i'm really proud of myself um it was a long hard journey i really wish i could have taken you guys on it with me like um through everything um but it was just hard to stay consistent on youtube and also um you know, focus on school, honestly, in the middle of COVID and everything. Um, but yes, um, I will not disclose that location for safety purposes, but um, it's been, intern year has been super difficult. Um, that will be a whole separate video. Right now, it's just an update on my life. Feel like, at the beginning of 2020, I was like the fittest I'd ever been since college. And the pandemic happened and we were inside and I was anxious and um, so anxious to the point where I didn't feel safe like going to the um, apartment gym or anything because of germs and bringing it to my family. And I was just so paranoid about getting COVID, spreading it to my mom, um, particularly because she's considered high risk given her age. And I was just, just a big ball of like anxiety. Um, just along with like school and trying to do that too and then everything with like black lives matter like i was just everything it was just a very traumatic time for me um very traumatic and i just couldn't i just would try to work out but i would be like way too anxious to work out i i just could i just couldn't i don't know i just couldn't anymore um and so with that, I just started like binge eating and um, stress eating a lot. Um, and of course, like again, outside was closed. So I was not um, exercising outside. I wasn't going to the gym. Um, I wasn't exercising inside because I had so much anxiety. Like with that, I feel like I never really recovered. I never got back to how I was um, at the beginning of 2020 at like my healthiest um, after so many years. Um, and I just continued to gain more and more weight as med school got more and more stressful as I had to study for boards as I had to um, Apply for residency as I had to do well in my clinicals as I had to uh, Just put myself out there on clinicals and, and so I just did not handle all of that stress and anxiety well um, and I stopped blogging um, I was really into fashion blogging. I'm not sure how much detail I went into that on YouTube. Um, but I was focusing on like, you know, content creating um, when everything happened during COVID. That's when I really started to put myself out there in terms of like fashion blogging and all that stuff, and which was really fun for me. Um, but again, like with the anxiety, with depression, with all of those things and now having a lack of confidence because I've gained so much weight, I just stopped. Um, and I wanted to focus on school primarily and just kind of, I just kind of left all of those things. I haven't blogged since then. Um, I think I continued blogging for until 2021, I want to say. 21 and then I stopped um, or early 22 or something like that. Um, but I kind of just stopped 
all the extracurricular fun creative stuff that I did um, and I haven't exactly gotten back into it um, I loved blogging like fashion blogging but um, something didn't really feel right about it I didn't feel right about promoting clothes just for people to buy for like no reason and um, just like unnecessary spending like it didn't really feel right in within my soul so if it's something that I want to get back into I want it to be genuine I want it to be just my own sort of thing I just want to blog with a purpose if that makes sense um, and so if I get back into it it's definitely gonna be I'll have to like I'll just brand things differently um, but yeah it's sad because I did stop all of those things that I loved and just being creative and I can only imagine you know if I continued for four years like where I'd be now um, but you know it's not too late and I definitely want to start back up again and I want to talk with you guys and talk about different things and how to be an adult <laughs> um, because I don't know how I've been in school like this whole time and um, now that I actually have like a salary job <laughs> um, I want to you know start talking about things that um, I should you know really put a lot more effort into um, now that I um, have a little bit of money so like budgeting um, just things with like financing so budgeting investing um, you know paying off my like, credit card debt staying on top of student loan debt um, I definitely want to get into those things as well um, as well as like self-care um, I just I have no idea what I'm doing, but I want to, you know, everyone starts from somewhere, right? I'll try my hardest for it not to be four years until the next time I come on here and make a video. Um, now, I think with my age, like maturing, and uh, what I want to do now on YouTube, it's very much, it's it's going to be more authentic, for sure. I, like, I don't know, I just, I'm just going to be open and honest, and I think that's what people deserve. Um, and so, yeah, I'm excited. Um, we're gonna, I'm just gonna plan a lot of things. Um, and hopefully I'm gonna start off maybe doing like two videos a month. I just need to be realistic about my time. And then from there, I kind of get more of on a schedule. So um, I hope you guys have been doing well. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. And um, if you have any questions for me, um, you can leave them in the comments and then maybe I can answer them in another video. Um, and yeah, we'll just go from there. So I'm excited to take you guys on the ride of residency and relationships and family and all of those things. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for listening, for watching. Um, you know, the 96 of you guys who have been around <laughs> for four years probably wondering where I've been or not. Um, but yeah, just thanks for sticking it out with me. And uh, we will continue on this journey together. All right. See you guys later, the next video, hopefully not in four years. <laughs> Bye.